Hey guys, this is Jazz. I got to apologize. There's not going to be a full episode up. I am going to try to get in the episode... Our battle with Skyla, though. Full narration and everything. Now what I'm going to do is I pre-recorded it in one without any casualties, so I may do that there. So let's get going, folks. Um, whenever I figure out... Jeez, forget what it... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just get started. I've been waiting for you. Did you enjoy flying with the help of the Mistleton Gym Cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. This will be a very short episode, though. This is just pretty much a gym outtake. Now, I can't play exactly how I played, but I am not going to... I'm going to try to avoid the loss. I'm trying to think whether I should just not count this one loss if I lose or not. She'll lead with Swoopat, which does not have Calm Mind, which is a blessing. She has... What is it? It's what lowers... Okay, I'm trying to think what it is. What did Swoopad have? Uh... Skyla? Uh, whatever. Okay, so Unpheasant has Leer, Quick Attack, Air Slash, and Razor Wind. Best to try to knock this out pretty fast. But I will try to get something up there for the other one, but Swoop Ad had... had Amnesia, Insurance, Heart Stamp, and Acrobatics, and she lives. She is definitely going to use a Hyper Potion. Full Restore, whatever it is that heals them. When I think about a match with Fabi's trainer like you, it's like I'm walking on air. She was probably going to use a hyper potion of some sort. Called it. I mean, they're that predictable, those gym leaders. At least, hey, at least Swana doesn't have it yet. Well, hey, that would be good. Quick attack, huh? What? Oh, thank God you lived. What happened with Kaisen in the last battle is he made it 20 HP. But survived. He has a better chance now. Nope. 
and Swana has Aqua Ring, Aerial Ace, Bubble Beam, and Air Slash. The only defensive move is Aqua Ring, which can be annoying if it's set up right. Aerial Ace also never misses, so... So watch out for that. No matter how many sand attacks or double teams you do, Aerial Ace will always hit. Two tops effective, no way it could have lived. Especially with the seven level difference, I think. Seven levels. Being your opponent, it battles. Thank you. You're an amazing Pokemon trainer. My Pokemon are happy because first time in a while we could fight for full strength. This is an official gym badge of you. We finally got the sixth gym badge, and in the next episode, we will actual episode will clear things up. So, cheers! Ooh, acrobatics. Which, if you have less items, it, no items held, then it will double. Which might be really good, actually. Bad X, if an owl item or double spray will move. Okay. 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 All right. Before we end off this episode, I'm going to see what I can do here. Aerial Ace is so nice, it will never miss. Fly 1 can't be removed and it's really nice as well, and I'd like to have some balanced moves. I'm going to check out what acrobatics is. Because so I think I have the TM for Aerial Ace anyway, so if I ever need Aerial Ace, it's there. Although the attack will double, or is that... Do I have Aerial Ace? No, I don't. Don't really want to do anything unless I know I can get Aerial Ace back. Hmm. Well, I do have to make more eggs pretty soon. In the next episode, we'll head to Twist Mountain. Sorry for such a short and lacky episode compared to the last time. With no trainers or anything. But everything did not work out very well. But anyway, I will see you in the next episode. Put my black egg off. See you next time.